All right, hey Sagittarius. So you guys, I'm gonna do a check-in. How do they feel check-in? Um, and you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and the current situation. And I'm also gonna pull to see what's uh, what was um, led up to the situation. So whether it's uh, in union, separated, whatever, um, you're gonna know this is your read by way of that. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys check your moon rising and Venus um, placements. And if you're new, you guys, please, will you subscribe to the channel? Um, like the video if you like it, um, just so it circulates YouTube. All right. So these have all been pre-shuffled. And I'm just going to start out by getting your energy. For Sagittarius. Sorry, those drops are kind of loud. All right, so your current energy. Um, I feel for most of you, all right, you guys are, you, this is about self-reflection. This is also one of the most spiritual cards in the deck. So I feel with the Hermit card, you, you're kind of accelerating your own spiritual journey or your own self-reflection. Um, with the Knight of Swords, I feel like um, there's new opportunities opening up around you. Um, this is a very successful energy. So no matter what's happened, I kind of feel like you're just taking this time and energy to put back into yourself. All right. If you're not going to move forward with somebody, it's going to be by yourself. Um, this is somebody right here that's saying, um, I don't need anybody to be happy. All right. I can get my fulfillment on my own because I know that there's just a world of information and, and um, uh, people, places, and things that there is to learn and to know. It's like knowledge. But I almost feel like you guys might be going through a spiritual shift. Um, and it's kind of like... There's nothing that's going to stop you. And it could be this realization about this uh, connection that, that's going to come out here, okay? So let's just see what the current situation is. For Sagittarius. All right. So the current situation. Um, we have the Devil card. So this is somebody who's pretty much, um, you know, embodying codependency, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, um, substance abuse in any form, porn, all right? So I feel like the current situation is um, we have, it could be a sexual addiction too. Ace of Wands and the Devil card tells me that this could be sexual for some people. Um, but right here, I feel the Devil is going to be the prominent energy with the two of swords i feel like this is blocked somebody feeling blocked um it, i don't feel like you even have this person blocked i feel like you're kind of acknowledging that this person's um, behavior is blocked by their addiction by their behavior all right and you're recognizing that and two i almost feel like for whatever happened right here you're recognizing that this is not going to serve you but let me just pull to see what's led this um situation all right um I obviously not in union um, with the ace of wands I feel like somebody's got a desire um, to start fresh with you but I feel like the blockage the blockages are gonna prevent that but let's see what's let's just go a little further all right so um, here's what I feel. So somebody's wanting, okay, so here's what I feel. I almost feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you guys might actually be, um, this might be a deeper connection. I don't feel like it's anything new. All right. But I feel like you're done. You're not going to let this energy interfere with you and your, your victory. The palace of swords This this is honesty. This right here is communication. This is all you want from a person, especially a teammate, especially a partner. All right. You know your worth. You know your value. You know what you deserve with that Empress energy coming out. And with the Ten of Cups, you're striving for the ultimate happiness. All right. So here's here's what I kind of feel is going on with this. I feel like you've been in this uh, relationship with somebody who's just not moving forward. You're moving forward and progressing, but this person's not. And I almost feel like for some of you guys, um, 
you could be moving forward and this person doesn't like how you're escalating in life maybe even a little bit jealous and it's torn their energy back all right and caused that grief or that blockage right there in the center of your guys's partnership your relationship okay so i kind of feel like somebody's moving ahead while somebody's kind of maybe even reverting going backwards all right so let's just see um you know I don't even feel like there's a heaviness of cheating or anything. I just feel like somebody's behaviors and addictions are holding them back. For, they're preventing um, a, a partnership, a teammate. They're, they're preventing this um, success. So let me just see what this person's energy is. Their energy is the person that Sag is dealing with. All right, okay, so here's what I feel. This is you, okay? And they're they're recognizing that you guys could be dealing with a water sign, but I, I don't feel like there's two, um, I don't feel like there's two energy, all right? I feel like this is you. This could be the person that you're dealing with, but they know that they need to heal the love um, in this connection, all right? And I feel like that's what they're recognizing. I'm not getting, I'm not really feeling cheating, okay? For some of you, that devil energy could be cheating, but I'm not feeling the most prominent energy. I feel like somebody's just, I feel the devil is, is addictions. It's, it could be porn. It, it could be jealousy. Um, it could be just um, this person watching you elevate while they're retracting, okay? Because I feel like you're a very successful energy. Um, I feel like you got it going on, and this person's kind of um, looking at you with, um, I don't know, maybe some jealousy. I don't know why I keep feeling like it's jealousy. Um, but they, they do want to heal the connection, all right? I feel like they do want to heal what's going on between you guys. Um, but I almost feel like, too, you're dealing with somebody who can't be lesser than it needs to be equal, all right? So I feel like this person's energy is how can how can we just be equals? Even if, And I almost feel like it's a financial thing. It's a success thing, all right? Um, let me just see how they feel about you. they feel about Sag. <laughs> Look at that. You, you are somebody who's very spiritual. You guys have had a spiritual, um, something spiritual happen. There's like something going on spiritually and this person sees that. That could be where that devil card is coming out. All right. Um, you know, I feel like this right here is wondering if I can catch up or wondering if you're going to come back to who you were. All right, but with the Ace of Swords, I feel this person, they do, they do want to talk to you about the connection. All right, they do. So let's just see what they want to tell you. What do they want to tell you? They don't like this feeling, I'm going to say that. All right, so if this person was treating you um, like your feelings didn't matter, if they treated you like they were better than you, if they treated you like, um, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't see it when I had it, that type of energy, that's what they want to say. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is them wanting to know if the cycle is going to change. All right, and with the King of Swords, it's like we're going to be honest. Or I want to be honest. I want to tell you how I feel. All right, I want to express things to you, but you know, um, I uh, and a two, I feel like it's, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's immature, but they're not in age. I feel like they might have a very immature mindset. All right, um, let's just see what they're what's coming in as far as this, because I feel like you guys do talk. I feel like communication's right there. All right. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles and Justice. So some of you guys could actually be thinking about breaking up with this person. Maybe you have broken up. All right. Some of you guys might be elevated in such a way that you actually can't see um, this uh, relationship moving forward. Okay. Um, this person, I feel, is actually worried about a disconnection, a, a, a final breakup, a final goodbye. I feel like that's what they want to talk to you about. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of almost feeling like 
the this relationship is not balanced it could be too that some of you guys have been together for so long um, and it's like you guys maybe went to church together all right and then it's like somebody's going off on spirituality while the other person's staying um, in the religious mode um, it, and I, I just feel like you're it's like evolving 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 in any way it doesn't have to be spiritual just evolving in life itself um, out, you're outgrowing the person that you're with is what I want to say and I feel like this person they don't like it but I feel some of you are you're, you're just like there's no point in keeping it together um, when we've outgrown each other we're you know on, on karmic situations we're here to teach each other a lesson what people don't realize is the lessons they do they, they will come they will get over with the lessons will come to an end all right um, it's like the true the past life soulmate connections that keep us um, solid until we die you know what I mean that's my own personal belief but um, when we start having rocky shit and we grow out of each other's energy that's why we're supposed to learn a lesson let's just see what the next 30 days brings I just I feel like Sagittarius you are I feel like you're growing out of this connection all right the next 30 days yeah look at i do this is what i feel i i, I feel that somebody's going to try to reconnect recommit but i feel for some of you the cycle is closed all right um we have the five of cups coming out um, but i feel like ultimately you're in the energy of that's okay with me so this isn't going to be everybody's read you guys um, obviously, but I feel like somebody's going to try to reconnect, recommit to this. And, and I feel sad that you're the one that's just like, no, I'm done. I'm good. Um, you know, I, I just want to grow, figure out who I am and what I'm here for in this life, in this earth. I almost want to cry right now for, um, whoever I'm talking to, because, um, that's a huge transformation. And I feel like that's what you're embodying right now, you guys. So I'm going to pull some initials. To see who it is that comes out but if the initials are not yours or the person you're dealing with it's fine you guys this is the this is the biggest deal right here um the initials too are, are going to be yours or their first middle or last a passed over loved one a city state abbreviation a nickname however it resonates with you okay so guys please again like the video so it can circulate through youtube i've noticed that there's been a huge decrease in my videos my subscribers my views um it's more of the subscriber count dropping and i don't know why other than i, I have no idea um but the subscriber counts are going down significantly and if you guys could just help me out by getting my um by at least liking the video that at least that'll make it circulate comment if it resonates with you guys um sagittarius as always i love you guys so much thank you